All right, what's going on, guys? So today is the first day of the first week of my second strength block. All, all together total, I got four strength blocks I'm going to be doing, and then I'm going to be peaking, and I'm going to be going for my new maxes on June 26th. So anyways, though, I'm feeling really good. I'm coming off of a deload. I hate deloads. They suck. To me, they're harder to do than the regular workouts, but I'll get into that another time. But anyways, last month, I was doing sets of fives on deadlift. This month, it's going to be sets of threes. That means in three weeks from now, I'm going to be going for a new three rep max on deadlift. We're looking at something big, man. Something heavy. Something big for me, at least. I'm thinking something along the lines of 545 or 550. And seriously, I can't even wrap my head around the thought of me getting 550 pounds for three reps. I know it's not a lot, but for me, it's a lot. But it's just another step on the road to me getting this 600. I got 520 for five reps last month. And now we're going to be working towards that. Today, the main lift is squats. And then after that, I'm going to be doing incline bench and uh, pause deadlifts. My deadlift variation is still the same as last month, the pause deadlifts. I explained to you guys last time why I love the pause deadlift. It's not just pulling the bar off the ground and then pausing and then continuing to pull. There's way more to it than that. And since I made that last video explaining to you guys about the pause deadlift, Kabuki Strength came out with a great video on pause deadlifts. You can watch that for more information. But it's just a time to really be able to just dial your form in, to really get that proper positioning off the floor. All right, enough talking. Let's get to it. Into the water, the